Okay. Up next. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Let me guess. It's your fate it's the bait of your existence as a fan of a certain franchise? Toy. <sighs> Oh, you have brought this it's upon yourself, blow. MJ. Transformers The Last Night. Let the real fun begin, baby. Oh, oh boy. Sick Lord. Everybody duck and cover. I hate this okay. movie. I hate this movie. I hate this movie. Only two actors gave a damn in Mark Wahlberg's Cade Yeager and Josh Dumel's returning Captain Lennox, who hadn't been seen since Transformers 3. <laughs> The writing is even more absurd breath. than ever, with continuity being ignored to Prime forgetting when Bumblebee first spoke to him at the end of the first movie, to the Transformers helping humanity throughout time, even though the first movie is when they were supposed to have come to Earth for the first time, and Earth is Unicron. I don't even need to I don't even know where to begin telling you how asinine that is. Now now Cloud Galactus has someone to laugh at. Also, <laughs> Also, how is Galvatron Megatron again? That makes no sense. Also, the idea of the enchanted amulet that the CG just looks so bad on Mark Wahlberg that it somehow swims up his arm onto his wrist and suddenly sports an Excalibur, giant Excalibur-like sword to stop Prime from being killed. I thought, okay, you're just making this shit up as you go along now, aren't you? This yeah. just made no sense. Avoid this movie altogether. I haven't been this disappointed with a flick since Iron Man 3. Ooh. I just... Ugh. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. Fuck that movie. <laughs> oh, sweet lord. I... I know I've been venting for like the last few months, particularly on Sunday Night Live, how bad this movie is. People have seen how bad this movie is. They now know. Because when you make tran when you make Transformers Revenge of the Fallen look like a cinematic masterpiece, you're done goofed. And it yeah, that, was a, that was a movie that literally shot action scenes with no script behind them. And had to write them afterwards and try to fit all the random action scenes together. And at least it was a fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, Jetfire was pretty cool and interesting. Yeah. And also, we've got Transformers 6 coming for 2019. And next year, we've got the Bumblebee movie with John Cena as his partner. Oh, I can't good. wait. I I can't wait to hear how. <laughs> I I can't wait for them to forget that Bumblebee can speak, again. Uh, <laughs> uh, who else saw <laughs> the last night? I did. Raiden. To the planet being Unicron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Did you just pull a cane and a kill? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that shit made no damn sense whatsoever. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. Some parts I liked, but I don't know I don't know. It's just characters being phoned in. Unicron back to being Megatron. That made no damn sense to me. I mean, right, don't forget the baby Dinobots. Yeah. No! <laughs> Kill the oh, by, the <laughs> by the way, why, why was why, why was Hot Rod French? Why? Wow. That's why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anthony Hopkins, why were you in this movie? Just why? Exactly. Because, why? because fuck you, that's why? <laughs> <laughs> that's just the answer to everything. Oh. Yeah, just everything. Yeah, pretty much. Especially in Hollywood standards, which is not looking good. But we won't talk about that until, until the next couple of minutes lies. Because let's be honest, Hollywood scandals are out the wazoo at this point. Also, 
the less we say about Cogman, the better. Oh! <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, like this movie with like this movie easily, but it was just for me. It was laughably, laughably bad. I enjoyed it for I enjoyed it for the wrong reasons, but uh, for me, for me, the one thing they always got right since Age of Extinction, Age of Extinction, is get rid of Shia LaBeouf's character because that character annoyed the crap out of me. Let me tell you. Oh, well, probably the easiest script for them to write because all he had to say was no. <laughs> yeah. Or Octoma! <laughs> Mama Bay! <laughs> yeah, like... No, 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 I think for me, my only favorite Transformer was Drift because ever since I ever since I knew about the character, I just enjoyed him. I mean, how can you not like a, 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 a character that that carries like two to three two to three sword, swords on his back? Nice. So so yeah. So in the end, I enjoyed the movie for the wrong reasons. It is man, it will it will never stop even without Michael Bay. It will never stop. No. It will never nope. stop. Ever. <laughs> My God. The, the freaking horror with this movie. That's all I gotta say. The freaking horror. No. <laughs> Even though me and my friends enjoy, enjoyed it one time, we like talking about it, but in the end with me, it's like... <laughs> just, 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 just stop. <laughs> <laughs> before you before you piss off the Transformers, Transformers fans, because it will because you will never hear the end of, end of it. Nope. Kind of like kind of like the Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah. Yeah. Urgh. And I and I enjoy those two movies, but still, that's 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 whatever. Victor Cross is saying in the chat, it was agony. It was an accomplishment if you could actually sit through the entire thing. I actually did as well. <laughs> Ooh. That's like that's like getting stabbed stab in the back multiple times. It's like twisting it over oh. it, over it, over it, over it. It's like more pain, more pain times twelve. What's also very apparent that the filmmakers simply did not give a damn, um, judging by what you and the rest of you guys and the rest of the internet have said, mentioned or have said. Like this was this is this was now the tenth anniversary of the first live action Transformers film, yeah. and this movie does really nothing to really celebrate that 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 milestone. Oh. Uh, like usually, you would have something uh, like an anniversary movie that would at least try to pay homage to the franchise or pay homage to the entire <laughs> series thus far. I mean, a lot of people really enjoyed Skyfall because it celebrated, I believe, the like 50th or 60th anniversary of James Bond by being more of a, a tribute film in that case. Um, and here, this movie, from what you guys have said, um, seems to have done nothing to acknowledge that milestone. No. no. Nah. And it's just another film. And Peter, it's like Cullen, it... and Peter Cullen just sounded so bored with his delivery. It's like getting punched by Kenshiro with the North Star Hunter crack fist multiple times. Just Damn. Hearing, hearing it. Damn. Just Ouch. hearing it. Just hearing it. In. Well, my wall motion did it. You're already dead. By the way, thank you, Kaiser, for, for, <laughs> by the way, thank you, Kaiser, for, for, for help, help me with that because I, I, I used it on Prez one time when he did too many, too many innuendos. <laughs> Was this last yeah. week during the uh, Survivor Series review? Yeah, yeah, I was there because I was pimp slapping him. Yeah, but yeah. no, I'm using it. I'm using it as a special weapon. And Oni <laughs> kept super kicking him. <laughs> yeah, multiple times. I can't help but feel a little sorry for Prez, but those puns were so bad. I know. <laughs> Brought it on himself. Oh, he yeah. is the queen of the three. <clears throat> He's lucky that uh, Wind didn't power up a dragon slave. It was oh, no, that was reserved for triple. No, that's reserved for other things. 
like for when I did my little pipe thumb for the final match in Survivor Series. Seriously, fuck that match. We yeah. all did. Me and Lydia especially. Yup. Uh, that match. Just... All right, Lydia. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Okay. Nostalgia critic. Help me out. So the, on regards of Michael Bay directing any more of these movies. Oh, boy. Hope you heard that because he kept saying, get a clue. Get a fucking clue, Michael Bay. Stop making these fucking movies. We are done. We are done with these stupid pieces of shit that you've been giving us. This movie, this movie franchise needs to die a painful death. It needs to, it needs the old yeller treatment. Take it out to the back. Oh. And it in the now I am done. Fuck this movie. Fuck it up the ass. I'm done. Go. Thank you. You've done it again, Lydia. Thank you. <laughs>